the young and the restless. In recent years, it has been a black eye for both HUD and the reverse mortgage industry. Non-borrowing spouses, more specifically, non-borrowing spouses who are displaced or evicted from their home when their older mate and sole reverse mortgage borrower eventually passes away. The ugly scenario reflects the need to consider the risks that are posed to younger spouses under 62 who are not named on the Heckam loan and the reputational risk to both lenders and the industry at like. Now, in October 2013, a federal trial court in Washington, D.C. ruled that HUD had violated federal law when it did not protect spouses of a reverse mortgage borrower. This according to AARP, which represented the plaintiffs. The court instructed HUD to find a way to fix the problem, and it appears that they may have just done that. During a January 16th meeting of the National Reverse Mortgage Lenders Association's Executive Committee, Deputy Assistant Secretary Charles Coulter said this to expect a mortgagee letter in the coming weeks regarding the non-borrowing spouse issue. Coulter said, the first mortgagee letter will essentially require that in the case of a non-borrowing spouse, the age of the younger member of the couple will be utilized to determine the appropriate principal limit factor. HUD will be modifying the PLF tables to cover ages below 62 for this purpose. Now, as of today, we do not have the specifics of the letter, but we can make some safe assumptions. One, HUD will require that both spouses be included and named on the loan. Two, the age of the younger spouse, even under 62, will be considered in lowering the principal limit factor or lending ratio. Three, there may be specific exceptions when a spouse is not required to be named as a borrower. Now this point is purely hypothetical and most likely HUD will enact policies to avoid any displaced spouse. Now such changes should only impact a small percentage of our potential borrowers in the future. For those with younger spouses, the impact will be substantial. Now based on the age-based ratios that are used in HUD's PLF table here, here is one hypothetical example of lower PLF's tables. Here we are applying the same ratio adjustment for age that is used throughout the PLF table. Let's look at this real life scenario and its impact on borrowers. A husband age 62 with a younger wife of 54 would see a lowering of the PLF from 184,000 to 173 or a 7% reduction in funds. What we just don't know is the actual numbers for younger spouses versus our estimates that we have today. What we also don't know until the mortgagee letter is issued is what, if any circumstances, would allow the removing of a spouse from title to increase proceeds. Now foreclosure is the only circumstance that I would foresee. Now here's the good news. Most of our potential borrowers are both over 62. Another silver lining is that HUD and FHA can make these changes quickly via mortgagee letter versus the prolonged rulemaking process. Now what are your thoughts? Do you see HUD's accommodation for younger spouses as a positive or negative development for our industry? Leave your comments below and have a great week.